All right, everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the F-16 AJ on the dev server from the next major patch, Sky Guardians, and uh, how, as of right now, it is completely wrong. Now, before we get into things, I just want to say that I am not going to be talking about whether or not the F-16 AJ should have been added. It is being added, and there's nothing we can do about it now. Even if I would rather have seen something like a GIMP F-2. Speaking of which, I personally think most people would have been totally fine with a nerfed F-2 coming instead and getting buffed to realistic values later on, once more advanced aircraft are actually in-game. However, that's not what I'll be discussing today. I'm going to be talking about the F-16 AJ program. Now, the current model in-game is totally inaccurate as it stands, and uh, what it would look like if it was adjusted to fit the parameters outlined by the manufacturer, General Dynamics. Now, the dev server model isn't finally yet, of course, and the devs may change it, but based on what I've heard, it's probably not going to. I was hoping to put out some awareness, at least in the meantime, and uh, hopefully if enough people give feedback, we can get, at least get something changed. So, to start off with, no dedicated F-16 AJs were actually built. Japan, of course, did not adopt the aircraft into service, and so this means that data is pretty scarce for it. We have some to work on, mostly based on what the manufacturer, General Dynamics, provided to the Japanese government as part of the FSX program, which has been published since then. So I'm going to be showing material from this periodically as we're discussing the concept, and I'll also link in the description so y'all can check it out yourself. Uh, I'm also going to have some info about the YF-16 as well, as this was the aircraft that the F-16AJ was actually based on. I would like to go ahead and give a little background on the program and the aircraft proposal in question before I get to what's actually wrong with the current implementation. The F-16AJ itself was formed as a concept as part of Japan's initial FSX program that would eventually lead to the F-2. General Dynamics offered two options based off the YF-16, the F-16 prototype. Also, of course, their product demonstrator. So remember this, this is going to be important later. It was not the actual F-16. These were the F-16AJ and F-16BJ. The AJ, of course, was supposed to be coming to the game, and the BJ, the two-seater, combat-capable trainer version. These are supposed to be much lower in cost compared to developing a newer version, like the F-2 later would be, and have Sparrow capability, unlike the American F-16As would, at least up until the 90s in the ADF retrofit, which we currently have in-game in the American and Italian tech trees. Specifically, it was to be compatible with both the AIM-7E and the AIM-7F missiles, which were then current. They also specified the RWR, ECM, uh, countermeasure dispensers, and several other differences from typical United States Air Force fighters, were Japan to adopt the proposal. I've also found in several places online, including the suggestion that was originally passed to Gaijin, that one YF-16 demonstrator, tail number 01568, was actually modified to F-16AJ specifications. It was definitely flown, and allegedly it was even test flown by some Japanese pilots which had been sent over as part of the test program, which may have test flown the F-14, F-15, and F-16. I was able to find footage of what appears to be the pilots as shown here, but I can't find any proof that this did in fact occur. General Dynamics implies that it did, and definitely the test bed flew, as they show a picture of it during flight evaluations at page 25 of this document. Now, they do also state earlier that at the airfield that it was at, it should have been the Japanese pilots flying, but I can't actually find any evidence that it did, so I'm not going to claim that it happened. Now, we come to the issue of what's actually wrong with the F-16AJ as it currently is in-game. And there's quite a bit to talk about here. Now, remember how earlier I said the F-16AJ was based on the YF-16? That was the prototype or demonstrator for the F-16, which had quite a few differences from the production F-16As, like the Block 10 and the Block 1580F we currently have in-game. On the dev server, as of the making of this video, the F-16AJ is essentially just a Frankenstein between the three blocks of F-16, with a Block 10 model, but the ability to carry and fire the AIM-7F. This means that, if corrected, the nose would have been slightly thinner, along with some other smaller visual changes unique to the YF-16. The biggest thing, however, is the payload options that it should get. The YF-16 had an interesting quirk, the ability to carry sparrows on his landing gear doors. Firing tests were even carried out using that position by the YF-16's during testing. If you remember that diagram from earlier, this is one of the things that was specifically shown by General Dynamics in their proposal. It would have been carried over to the full F-16AJ, unlike their US Air Force brethren, which were scaled back in the face of massive F-15 spending. 
This would have given the F-16 AJ, just like the Mitsubishi F-2 later, and that's crucial, the ability to carry four Sparrows in addition to the four AIM-9Ls that other F-16s could carry. The Japanese seemed to want four missiles, at least four radar missiles. Why else would they carry it on the F-2 later on? It's also referenced in the material itself when talking about interception, stating that the third radar missile wouldn't be able to be used since it would be too close to fire by the time the second missile had failed. This would make the F-16AJ slightly stronger than the F-16s of other nations, yes, but especially with the very strong combo of F-14 and F-16 on US teams, and with the MiG-29 finally getting its instructor fixed this patch, I think it'd be justified. The plane was also supposed to be compatible with various access to ordnance like laser-guided bombs, mavericks, and dumb bombs. Currently, it has dumb bombs and mavericks. This gives Japan at least one option for casting high tier ground battles, which is desperately needed. Up until this stage, Japan had no options for guided ground support, leaving pilots to go in for bomb runs with dumb bombs against ADAS and Tunguskas. Still, mavericks are incredibly unreliable and don't even work at night or in the rain. The laser guided bombs would be a nice addition to give the AJ all weather capability, since every other nation except for Sweden and Israel has either thermal or laser guided weapons that also work at night. With that being said, I reached out to Gaijin with all this information, as did some other people on the forums. Unfortunately, the developers have made the decision to proceed with the current model and loadouts for now, as you can see by their response on screen here. They are keeping the AJ pylons as they currently are, so the scheme was abandoned due to practical and technical reasons that no F-16 ever adopted it. However, this does not mean that Japan wouldn't have done it, as they are fairly willing to spend money. Look at that F-2 that would come out of the program. There is also literal ev photo evidence of the YF-16 carrying and firing sparrows from the very pylons. Now, they do also say that from a gameplay perspective there are technical and practical considerations when it comes to the sparrows and the gear covers, but that still would not stop them from making a model for the AJ based on the YF-16, which would have some visual differences and would at least make it somewhat unique. However, as of right now, as far as I am aware, this is not planned. This means that Gaijin is essentially making up what they think a Japanese production plane would look like. Which is incredibly ironic considering all the effort they went to to remove the Panther II, Tiger II 105, and Coelian, and to take the effort to make replacements that actually existed, even the CV-90-105 rework last year, simply to add a variant of the F-16, which has no basis on reality. Now to wrap things up, me making this video course won't necessarily get the aircraft changed. I do agree that Japan needed a top-tier jet, and I think the F-16AJ can make a good addition while waiting for other more advanced planes to come, so we can get the F F-15 or F-2. Now, I do think we're if we're going to be adding a plane like this with so little information available to us, that it would be prudent to at least use what we have available. This is especially true considering the fact that the Yak-141 is getting IRST that it can't fit due to the IFF interrogator taking the position, and the airframe with IRST was not the one we received. The answer from the devs in that case was that these features were planned for the version that has been selected, and I'm totally fine with that. The answer could also be totally applied to the F-16AJ, and in my opinion, should. If y'all can, please share this to spread the word, and see if we can get Gaijin to change the F-16AJ before it goes live. It'd be interesting to get an actually unique variant of the F-16, one based off the YF versions, instead of simply copy and pasting a Frankenstein version that truly has no basis on reality. Please reach out on the forums about this as well, respectfully of course. The more feedback that Gaijin receives, the more likely it is that the plane will actually get changed. Nothing is concrete yet, as the dev server is still subject to change, so maybe we'll get lucky and they'll go ahead and change it. Even if they don't for now, it'd be amazing if we at least got a new model in the future. They've done that before and gone ahead and updated models, just like I said with the CV-9105. Maybe at some point we could get a version that's based off the YF-16 instead. But in the meantime, of course, really nothing we can do. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. It was a little bit longer than usual. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. But I'll see y'all next time, and uh, peace.